Hello everyone, welcome back to my class online 3D modeling class using Katia V5. And in this uh, topic, still we are practicing about uh, surface modeling, generative self design. And I intend to uh, present the uh, multi section surfaces. And we have a two parts in here using hook and we, we will draw hook and hanger. And for hook design, we develop and draw a, using multi section surface. And for second part, for second part, we we will use the like a combine for wireframe. Okay, next take a look at the design. In this model, the hook and something like this. And you have to do, draw uh, several plans in here. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six plans. And draw the some kind of profile, something like this. And using the multi-section surfaces. And you can able to draw like uh, this model okay for second part we will draw the hanger and this kind of hanger has something like uh, this uh, band shape like this so you have to do like uh, um, create the inclined surface in in using sweep maybe in here okay and Let's go to the first part. For first part, in this case, uh, uh, absolutely, we have to set the geometrical set, insert geometrical set, and name 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 it as uh, sketches and wireframes and surfaces, of course. And you have the this uh, kind of the ge geometrical set, sketches and wireframes and surface. Okay. And the first thing to do, create the, oh, the first thing to do is select a sketches and right click and define in work object, okay? And create a new sketch on the YZ plan. In here we draw something like a circle with a radius 35 first and radius 16. And this kind of a circle are 35 as the center with the, from the center line with distance uh, 2 millimeter and 6 millimeter and then we draw another curve here using arc maybe or you can use using three point arc you can draw first this line and draw this okay something like this and draw uh, another part from this section uh, let's do this. I have the open Katia in here, and of course, I go to generative shape design. And in here, we use the YZ plan. YZ plan, and uh, for front, front view, I think. And go to the position sketch, maybe. And the vertical and horizontal axis already in this direction. I think it's normal. Okay. You can select okay. And the first thing to do, I usually uh, draw some kind of axis in here. Oh. Sorry. This axis should be in the center line. Of course, and draw the circle. Sorry, dimension is sixteen. Ready, sixteen, and another circle, and like in this, like this. Ready, thirty-five. 
and it has the distance about two millimeter, right? Two millimeter, and this one six millimeter. Let's check again. Fifty, yes. Thirty-five and sixteen. And another another circle uh, about thirty in here. Maybe you can draw it in here. It is the tangent with the thirty-five circle. Let's make it quickly in here and we have also in here some kind of uh, line maybe cut using construction sorry I think this one not this one And this one has a symmetry. This uh, line is symmetry, okay. And it has a dimension about 14. And this it has a line with a distance about I don't remember. Let's check again in PPT. 35 millimeter. Okay. We draw something like this. Okay. And I think it is this kind of curve you can delete it maybe create some kind of confusion you can delete it like this and maybe this one is can be delayed It has dimension or not? Yeah, this is a uh, 30, okay. And you have to draw another arc in here. I use a three point arc. All right. Its uh, dimension has radius uh, five in this case. Okay, this one is I think fully constrained. You just uh, delete, sorry, quick trim this uh, curve. And I think we don't need this one. I think we don't need this one. You can delete it. Oh, and the dimension is. Uh, There are several constraints in here, and you draw another circle in here with uh, tangent with this line, and also tangent with this curve. And this one is something like this. Mm, okay. And you can draw in here. And this one set 
or constraint tangency. This constraint is uh, gone. Should be tangent in this, and this one also should be tangent. Okay. And maybe you have to create another here with radius 25, can see, and radius 3 and distance in this uh, arc 11 and 30 and this one is tangent from here to here okay i think this one is quite very important so i think i will draw using this one Okay, in this I will set radius 25 millimeter using arc this one and this one have tangency constraint and this one has radius approximately 3 and he has another okay let's uh, let's make it like this should be tangent with this curve okay somehow and I still can drag like this Anyway, you can set this one for 11 and another is 30. Oh, sorry. This one is 30 millimeter. And this has coincidence, of course. And this curve, sorry, this curve and this curve has relationship tangency. This one also tangency. Okay, now it's uh, fully constrained. You just uh, delete rest of the curve. Um, delete this one. Delete this one. And select and delete this one. Okay, you have this kind of profile now. Oh, I forgot to create some kind of I forgot, sorry. I forgot really. We have to create uh, this one geometrical set. Forgive me. I really forgot. First, so sketches and wireframe. Whatever you can name it. Wireframes and surfaces i hope this one is can move in here so this is for first sketch okay okay let's go back to presentation and after create this uh, in the sketch you have to create uh, some kind of several sex intersection point to create the plan and in here we have to create 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, intersection point. Okay. Let's modify this one. And I create this one construction line. And here is angles about 45 degree. Um, if I'm not wrong, it's about 45 degree. It's our com more complicated. Okay, now you have axis in here, of course. This one intersection with this, and this also intersection with this. And to set the intersection point, select this intersection point, or just double click this one. You just uh, create this one intersection point. This curve and this curve. Okay. This curve and this curve. This curve and this line. This curve with this line. This curve with this line. All right. We have some kind of this intersection point, right? Oh, this intersection point. I select this one construction. You can you can convert to standard element to change it. Not construction. I I miss this step. Okay. Okay. Now you have this kind of intersection. Point. If you close the sketch, you can have this intersection point clearly seen in here. Okay, oh, in here. Something happened. Okay, in here, section point. After create this intersection point, you have to create a uh, wireframes, select wireframes and right click define in work object and create uh, some kind of this uh, horizontal line along long x axis I think yes x axis direction with uh, dimension about 10 millimeter this one was for first line for second line you connect this uh, line I mean connect this point using function line point to point select uh, sketch one vertex vertex on the sketch in here of course select of this vertex are two points and it will create a line that one is for second line and then for third line, you create uh, this similar with previous line in here, with a uh, horizontal line along x direction with dimension 10 millimeter. Okay, the rest is the same. This also connect point this one and point this one. Create another line in here for fourth line in here okay and for fifth line you have create again in here another horizontal line select this point and create another line in here for dimension 10 millimeter and for six line connect this line uh, sorry connect this point and also connect this point and create the uh, one line in here and okay and for seven seven line create again in here horizontal with dimension 10 millimeter it doesn't matter about the dimension it can be five or whatever just uh, we can create a line to create 
uh, another plane in here perpendicular okay we just uh, guide guidance this this line is actually for guidance or anyway you create another line in here with function point connect to point so create another line for line 8 okay for line 9 similar create in here for 10 millimeter we have mm, many lines in here create the width function again point by point and create another line and this one also select this point okay so you have total have uh, 11 or 11 line i mean 11 line from line 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 for Y frame alone in here let's do this we practice with this okay go to wireframe and define in work object of course okay i think it's not difficult to create line select this icon line of course and don't select point by point point and direction first select this point and direction is x direction we have followed the ppt so first line we create this line okay and create another line this one is for second line and we create third line point direction direction is x okay and we create another line in here Oh, sorry we have to select point okay point direction direction x direction okay that one is fifth line so create a for six line this point and this point Okay, and we have many lines in here. Okay, create another point, point by point. Okay, create this point direction, direction the axis is x axis okay so we have uh, two more lines in here okay we have many lines and many wireframes and x axis okay now you have uh, 11 line see very easy right okay after create these lines we have to create a plan based on through two lines and in this case i select the line first line this uh, line and second line this line dot one in here and you can create automatically plan this one is for plan one and uh, for plan two create like this select this line and this line and this plan is uh, create based on these two perpendicular line okay and create another line i'm sorry another plan for third plan 
we select this line and this line okay and we have to create uh, this plan to draw a sketch in this plan okay for another plan in this perpendicular with this select this line six line six and line seven okay for next plan plan five Select this line and this line, okay. And also the final plan. Select this line and this line, okay. I think it's very easy. So we have uh, six uh, around six plans in here. Plan one, plan two, plan three, plan four, plan five, and plan six. So what to do in here, we still in wireframes and select the true through, through lines like in here, select this line and this line and you have created uh, this kind of new plan in here, okay. I think it is not difficult for you this one, create plan. Just create new plan here. Okay, just make it quickly. Okay. This plan. This one. Okay. We have six plans. We have six plans in here. Okay, after create these plans, we have to draw a new sketch and select sketch and right click define in work object for this arc is coincident we don't never mind about the dimension just uh, select the coincident between two points okay this one is for sketch two for sketch three we draw uh, in the second plan on the second plan remember and we have some kind of uh, radius in here three and also radius seven in here which is this one is coincident for this axis okay can you see like this this profile okay and you can draw this line using b tangent function and we draw a fourth sketch in here sketch four on the plan three similar profile which is coincident with this point using the tangent line of course for draw this line and you can delete that if the, there is the extended line in here using quick trim and this one is also similar which uh, radius 7 and 3 in here for sketch 5 on the fourth plan and in this uh, part we just draw the circle and without the radius you just co connect it the, this point coincidence so it's automatically having radius and diameter okay and this also arc same coincidence for both points and you have uh, six uh, or oh, sorry yes yeah, six because we start from two sorry one two three four five six six uh, sketch in here this one is circle and this one something like this okay let's I do in here in in first plan we draw we have to reverse this one and of course you have to 
create the I don't know this one is in the middle or no we have to draw this uh, circle I mean not circle arc I mean let's this one is coincident each other okay this one is coincident and if you measure this one is about seven radius and this one offer constraint of course you not necessarily make dimension okay first sketch is very easy okay for the I'm sorry we have to go up this one oh if I always forgot this one cannot We have to define this one. Okay. Um, did I select plane? Oh yeah, the axis in like in the below here. Okay. So we have in here the. You can hide the wireframe if you like and I don't know you can draw the axis in here axis should be coincident with this point this point If you have a and you have a arc in here round three millimeter and this one also same radius seven millimeter you create using the tangent line. Connect this line and this line and automatically create line with tangent and you can do quick trim in here Okay, so basically you just create like this profile Okay Very simple, right? So we draw on the another plan in here New sketch, position sketch, and you have to set the correct axis. Okay, this is very difficult to see. Similar method, you can connect this one. coincident and using arc in here similar method I use in here you have to set this one is seven millimeter and this one three millimeter Okay, you can use B tangent this line and this line, and you can delete this necessary unnecessary lines. Okay, okay, this one is for this uh, sketch, just make quickly. So I frame again and go to position sketch, select the proper axis, you 
can hide them again. Okay, the constraint is already vertical. And this line and this line, sorry, point. So it's coincident. And this one also coincident. And this one connects with point. And this one connect this point. Oh, this one is not connected, sorry. Okay, just make a dimension. This one is three. This one also three. Sorry, this one is seven. Using bit engine. This can be extended. You have to delete it. This one delete. Okay, and you cannot extend anymore this one. So this one something like this. Okay, close it this one. We have to create this sketch on this plan. I already select plan 5 and the axis it I think this like this I think you can hide that by frames Coincident for these uh, points. Very complicated process, right? Okay. Maybe you can use this arc. This arc should be coincident. This one. Should be coincident with this line, with this point. So if you create this dimension, it's about not seven, okay? And just finish this. And we have to create another sketch on this plane, okay? Go. I think horizontal axis would be reverse. Okay. Something like this. Maybe you can hide this one. You can create a coincident axis with the, the two points. Coincident. And this also coincident. And create arc. In here. Okay. You have to coincident with this. Coincident. And this one also coincident with this point. All right. Okay, now I think it's complete for wireframes, sketch and wireframes. Okay. So if you saw again, you have this kind of this kind of sketch, six sketches in here. Okay, next to do is first. You have to do uh, multiple extract to create some kind of this curve. So select multiple extract, go back to wireframes and define in work object. 
and in here we use curvature continuity curvature continuity in here and create this kind of lines of a uh, of profile and also we have to create a second multiple extract for this one this kind of lines of course select uh, edges and select curvature continuity okay after that you have to create the extremum point for this profile for this profile and also this profile I think you already know this one how to create more maximum maximum point in here select the this curve of course the sketch to and direction and see the x direction so select maximum point so this one get maximum point on the x direction that is in this point okay another point extremum point similar this sketch six with a direction x axis direction maximum direction okay this one also similar in here okay that's a nice point we have to create another point but in here this uh, using a ratio 0 0.13 for this curve type is point point uh, sorry point type is uh, on curve select curve second sketch two and we use the ratio uh, curve uh, 0 0.13 okay or another point but from in this direction maybe you have to click the reverse direction in here and you create uh, another point for this curve similar ratio 0 0.13 and this one is similar in this this point 0 0.13 this point is uh, used for later for multi-section surface for coupling lines for co coupling points okay this one is 0 0.13 similar ratio okay that is the point let's go back first go to multi-extract Go to wireframes. Go to maybe in this boundary. Multiple extract. Okay. First multiple extract. Select this kind of curve, which is a curve factor continuity. Maybe. Okay. That one, the first multiple extract for create a new profile using sketch. As on sketch, okay. Another profile we create in here for wireframe. Click curve factor continuity. All right, and select okay. Okay, you have to create. This one still in wireframe geometrical set. In here, you have to create new point on this curve. Okay. The type point is on curve. Oh, sorry, not this one. Extremum point. Extremum point. Okay, the direction is x direction. You have uh, created this point. Okay, 
Uh, which now question? I think it's very easy. Create another extreme point. It is element. Which is direction x direction. Okay. You can create another point in here. All right. You can create another point with ratio 0 0.13 on the curve, this curve. You can create any part of this curve on any point on this curve using on curve but in here using um, ratio which already i told you 0 0.13 in this uh, point in this position i have to create another point in this position using similar method on curve using ratio i uh, should reverse direction ratio is 0 0.13 in this position okay create another point in here reverse direction 0 0.13 so you have uh, basically create a new point in this curve okay and this curve is looks like uh jaggy like this like because the accuracy is i think depends on the accuracy of the graphics okay anyway you create this point actually this point okay where we are Create a multiple extract, extreme mom already, extreme mom three, okay, already. Point one, we have created. Point two, also, we have already created. Point three, okay, now this one multi section surface. The main part of this surface, <laughs> okay. We have great uh, many wireframes here, here, and basically we create a surface based on this profile. Oh, okay. Very tired to create the sketch. So now we arrive here. Finally, multi-section surface. And select uh, this kind of multiple sketch. Sketch we have created. Sketch two, sketch three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, with uh, guidelines we already created in here. Multiple extract one and multiple extract two, and this will create the intersection surface. And also you have to create the coupling. Which couple coupling point with this point you already created in this point point one and you select this multiple points in here select this point and you can create the coupling coupling lines and another coupling second coupling you create the middle point in here you already create maximum extreme point Select this kind of points. Okay. And the last is select this, create another multi section surface. Okay. Okay, let us let's begin from here. Multi section surface. Where is multi section surface? Go to surface and define work object. This one, multi-section surface. <clears throat> Finally, we create this one. Select this uh, sketch, one, two. Make sure the direction, I think, should be the same. 
cannot select this. Okay. I wish this one is correct. With cat line is this one and this one. You can preview this one. You create the surface and you need some kind of coupling which the, I'm sorry coupling what is coupling with the tangency tangency okay tangency not ratio tangency so at coupling point and here our first coupling point this point we have created okay so another coupling Select that one, select this one, select middle point, select this extreme point. Okay. So finally, you create uh, this surface finally. With success, no error, I mean. And previously, there is warning, just ignore. It's just a warning about small age and I think this one is okay for this hook okay I think just okay okay that's one is first surface for second surface you have to create this surface in a multi-section surface similarly Okay, this surface and this surface. You have to use a perpendicular direction in here. Okay. Okay, after this you have you can join these two surfaces. Okay, and then you can create another surface on the top in here. Okay, this one already we did. We have done multiple multi section surface one and multi section surface two. And the next step is you have to do join. Join this surface, this first surface and second surface. Multi section surface one and multi section surface two. After join, you can do symmetry, very easy, no problem, very easy. And you can join again these surfaces, join them. After that, you can create a new boundary in here. Go to wireframes for boundary, define in work object. Don't forget. Okay. Select the this edge and okay, just okay. And point continuity, I think and go to surface and define in work object and go to fill select fill and select this boundary for edge and this boundary can create a surface by fill method and then join them again after join you finish i think this one plus and the last is define in work object. Go to part design. And you can go to the closed surface to create a solid part model for this kind of hook model. This kind of model, okay? This kind of final product. And if you select the mass in here, you can get the mass around 0 
0 to 7 kg with the density if you this depends on material in this case we just given a uh, we just uh, give about 10000 kg meter cubic okay that's the final product for this this object and what else this is a join right join select this and select this you already joined this mm, sorry after join you can go to symmetry of course select surface join and reference surface this one see he says we'll go to like this like mirror the symmetry okay you have to join again this uh, join and this symmetry okay join them I think you can hide this sketch and maybe wireframes. Okay. The last is the boundary. We have to create boundary. So go to wireframes. Wireframes define in work object. And go to the boundary. this edge see this automatically select the edge in here so no problem and go to the surface define in work object and go to the fill this one fill surface definition only select the boundary and you are done you are done in here yeah done you just need to join again this new field with uh, join two okay so you have a uh, join three in here it's a uh, remain surface are are hidden 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 okay okay so you can hide the wireframes uh, this one is final final surface in this model okay you can go to part body before that find in work object otherwise there is some kind of warning so so it's part body define in work object and you have to go to part design click start part design and in here this symbol there is kind of a closed surface you can select a final surface that is join tree okay to create a solid and then okay if you hide this surface you already create the solid uh, part for this model okay so this one is i think uh, not complex we just create many wireframes based on multiple wireframes Yes, and create the multi-section surface based on guidelines, two guidelines and two coupling lines or coupling points. Okay. So basically we already finished and you can check this mess and select the, this and this exactly the same from the slide 0 0.027 kilogram okay
similar uh, result. All right. So you can save it this. Whatever. Name it the uh, hook and save it. Okay. And you are done. And for next part, we'll explain for next video.